Hello everyone, this is Grace again. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Guess where I am right now? I am standing on the grounds of the Draper Temple here in Utah. So please join me as I take you to a simple tour around the grounds of this stunning edifice. Thank you. <laughs> Okay guys, this is the church where we go to and this is actually the state center so it's huge and this is pretty new. Hi guys, so I am here inside the chapel. I am going to go in the sacrament hall and I am going to play some music for you because I love playing the grand piano here. Hello everyone! Um, guess what? The first song that I am going to play for you is Ballad for Adeline by Richard Gladerman since he's my favorite um, piano player. So yeah, enjoy! <laughs>
for Adeline. This next one is called Childhood Memory, and a lot of my friends um, in Goa have requested this, so I'm going to play this for you guys. Enjoy! <laughs> Okay, guys, this next song that I'm going to play is Vera's theme. I learned this when I was in high school. Okay, so enjoy. <laughs>
are going to the Draper Temple. Turn right on the side of the quarter highway. And today I have Mark behind the wheel again. We have Dio back there and Simon and myself. So we have a bigger crew this time. So Dio is really patient. He's very good right now. He's just sitting there quietly. So that is good. Okay, there's the Waffle Love restaurant. The temple, the Draper Temple. We're almost there, Dio. Dio. Okay. Looks quite busy here. Like the parking spot is pretty full. Hopefully we'll find a spot. Okay guys, we are on the actual road now. Okay guys, it's pretty busy here. So there might be a wedding here or something because the parking lot is pretty full. We actually parked on the other side by the where the chapel is. So they must have opened this now. There must be a regular session here. I don't think they take by appointments anymore. Look how full it is. Okay, we are entering the gates of the Draper Temple. So this temple guy sits on the 12 acre land. So it's huge. Okay guys, we are facing on the south side of the building. We came through that south gate right there. So let's keep walking. As you can see, there are gorgeous flowers here, garden. And when I walk in here, I'm reminded of my friend Melissa. Hi, Melissa, who loves gardening also. She is an avid gardener and she loves flowers. So yeah, let's look at the spire with Angel Moroni on it. So one thing that I love about vlogging about the temples, it's because I have been having this um, appreciation about the architectural design. They, they are just stunning. So let's go ahead and keep walking and check the east side. There's the main entrance of the building or of the temple, yeah, Draper Temple. So as you can see guys, there's the inscriptions there again that says Holy, Holiness to the Lord and the House of the Lord. They're all the same for all the buildings. Okay, this is my second time to actually visit this temple. Because this is kind of far from where I live, from where I live. So yeah, I want to feel the walls. We are on the east side. This is the main entrance. But from, from all the temples that I have shown you, this one is way bigger than Ochre Temple and the Jordan River Temple. Actually, it has um, the biggest ceiling room among the temples in Utah. So let's go ahead and feel the, the walls. This granite, guys, 
the granite walls where um, they were imported from China. So I want to believe the adage that, or the saying that goes, God created the world and the rest are made in China because every single temple that I have visited, it seems like all the granite were, or were imported from China. Yes, this is really smooth, very nice. So let's look at their windows. You will see quilt pattern. And this um, quilt patterns were from the log cabin of the pioneers back then. And look at this. These are so pretty. And then, let's look at the, the ceiling, guys. So spacious here. There's plenty of room to walk around. And you can see the stained glass on the doors and the bronze too. If you look at the doors of the temple right here. You have all this design stained glass with bronze doors. Did you guys know that the Makor wood that were used here, or the Makor wood that was used here, um, was from South Africa and the limestones uh, were from France. They were all imported. So let's keep walking around. Did you guys know that this temple was the third temple built um, in the Salt Lake Valley? and the 13th in the state of Utah. the bees So guys, I am standing here um, outside the gate of the Draper Temple. As you can see, there's also a garden outside the gates. Look how pretty it is. It's so spacious here. There's a lot of room for, for people to just sit here and meditate. So, and then if you go inside the gate, you will also have room to um, sit. Did you guys know that the Draper Temple was announced back in October 2004 during the General Conference? It was announced by Gordon B. Hinckley and the groundbreaking was done in August of 2005, also by, led by President Gordon B. Hinckley. And then the open house was done um, in March of 2009. So this was only five months ahead of the um, ochre temple the ochre mountain temple compared to um, the jordan river temple and the ochre mountain temple the draper temple is way bigger than them even the provo temple and the mount timpanogos temple so yeah i think the chapel over there was built the same time this temple was built so i love how they landscaped it here you know they put a lot of effort here even their um lounge what's this what do you call this bench the lounge benches are made of granite too <laughs> they're expensive <gasps> yes so nice i wish i came here at night time but i think around 
8 is when they close this building and even then it will still be bright outside wow look at this where does this lead us so this one is the north side of the temple let's check it out because i've never been in this area now i'm excited to attend the session here So guys, this building is, or this temple is also located in a pretty scenic area. You can see the mountains around this temple. It is very impressive how selfless the members are. Because just imagine they have to volunteer here to clean this temple. This is a lot of sweat. <laughs> okay. It's a good time. Yeah. We are now going to the south side of the temple. I guess you have a choice to either take the steps or use that <laughs> side right there. Where there's grass. Okay. By just looking at this grass, I just realized, guys, that back in the Philippines, we call the grass um, carpet. <laughs> we call them carpet. And here it's not carpet, it's grass. We have a different type of grass in the Philippines. It's called carabao grass. But it's not carabao grass, guys. Okay, now we are on the south side of the temple. all these seating areas there's just too many of them um, this has a very relaxing um, feeling because wherever you go in every every corner guys there's a seating area a resting place okay and they're all made of granite even the garden boxes <laughs> this must be an exempt very expensive temple okay let's look at all those windows so in honor of the pioneers um, work or doing the quilting work back then they had to incorporate the um, log cabin quilt patterns on the windows here. Which is unique about this temple also. The good thing about temples, guys, is that members and non-members are welcome here. For non-members who could not go inside, they could um, hang around the, the grounds of the temple. Whereas those members who have the recommend, they'll be able to um, go inside. So yeah, come and visit the temples. So there's the Draper Temple. And across it is an LDS chapel. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed my video for today. About the Draper Temple. Say hi. Hi, everyone. My name is Dio. By the way, I just want to give a shout out to all my friends in um, Goa Ward and Philippines Naga Mission and Goa District or Goa Stake in general. 
I am doing this vlog for you guys so that you'll be able to see um, the temples here, the different temples in Utah. And I hope you enjoy watching all the videos that I have posted. Also, thank you for subscribing to my YouTube channel. You guys take care. Please remember to subscribe to the link below and click like and also click the notification bell for video updates. And remember, bawal ang malasado. Bye for now. Please be safe out there.